Welcome to the holiday season in New York City. Each year, millions of visitors from all over the world flock to New York to take part in the holiday spirit. Here they find thousands of miles of twinkling lights, hundreds of decked out holiday windows, and some of the world's most famous decorations. But creating these massive installations is no easy task. This is just not right, Mike. So now I'm genuinely concerned. We'll take you behind the scenes to discover the weeks of hard work, stress. That's what I was afraid of. And sweat that go into transforming some of the city's most iconic landmarks. Now tie it up. It's clearing the motor. Oh my God, I'm dying. <laughs> The countdown to a spectacular holiday in New York begins now. New York City is an international shopping mecca. And this is especially true during the holiday season. Behind many of New York's most famous decorated landmarks is one company, Holiday Image Inc. Holiday Image works year-round to design, build, and assemble with thousands of decorations in anticipation of the holiday season. I have a full team of designers, fabricators, installers, decorators who will create about 150 installations during November. Deep inside this 55,000 square foot New Jersey warehouse, the team rushes to produce 2.5 miles of garland, 1,500 snowflakes, 270 Christmas trees, and enough ornaments to cover six football fields. There's a lot of preparation, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Most of the decorating and the finesse work happens here. So when we get to location, we're really just there to do an installation, but inevitably there's challenges. And in the city that never sleeps, the experts at Holiday Image must work quickly through late night hours, finishing before the stores reopen to keep these transformations truly magical for visitors. There's a two to three month period that we really don't exist to the outside world. Family, friends, we, we just disappear. This is a lot of fun, but the time constraints are insane. This year, the pressure is on to pull off spectacular installations in some of the city's most high-profile sites. We're really excited about Macy's Herald Square, Lord & Taylor's main floor flagship on Fifth Avenue, Hugo Boss, and the Time Warner Center at Columbus Circle. To kick off the season, the team prepares for tonight's install at the Time Warner Center, overlooking Central Park. The designs at all these locations vary. They are custom made and designed to be branded for, for the customer. The Time Warner Center, we've got an 85 foot uh, atrium and it's really all about scale there and light and entertainment. Known as the Holiday Under the Stars display, the Time Warner Center is the company's biggest and most challenging installation. Over the course of one night, Holiday Image will install 12 stars containing a total of 11,000 fiber optic points that will be synchronized with music, creating the world's largest LED light show. When we go to this installation, the stars are gonna be in about 14 pieces. So each star gets assembled on location. This is the most amazing installation that the company's involved with. Each star weighs over 1,000 pounds and must be hoisted 85 feet into the air and suspended from the atrium ceiling. And to up the stakes even more, directly underneath the star's ceiling, millions of dollars worth of sculptures by surrealist artist Salvador Dali. Before load-in, Matthew Schwamm holds a client meeting to strategize. We need to go through this floor plan um, of where everything will be set for Dolly right. and figure out if we need to move anything, where we need to move it, or how we can work around it. All the pieces in, in total, collectively, are valued at $30 million. To hoist the stars into their positions, Matthew's cranes will need to park within inches of the famed artwork. So, so 5, 15, and 9 are movable? Easily movable? Well, none of them are easily movable. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. You have to bring, we have to bring special art movers. Because these are also um, the, um, set, the setup points. It's going to be a challenge and a half. 20 blocks south of the Time Warner Center is the setting for Holiday Image's biggest job this season, 
the world's most famous department store, Macy's. This historic building was built in 1902 and has been a holiday landmark since the first Macy's Day Parade in 1924. Each year, Macy's chooses a brand new theme as the centerpiece for their design. This year, it's home for the holidays. The team must create and install decorations to fill one million square feet throughout Macy's sprawling flagship store. Filling this massive space is no easy task. They will install 10 25-foot arches and 41 ceiling garlands overhead to get the biggest impact. At Macy's, it's a very contemporary holiday, really targeted to their market. Workers have already spent months preparing for this install. The entire project requires over 260,000 LEDs, 3,900 feet of garland, 87,000 red ornaments, and nearly 8,000 man hours to produce and install. We've got about 90 people working day shift and night shift right now. While these employees continue the prep work for Macy's, an install team loads the trucks for tonight's job at the Time Warner Center. As night descends on New York City, five trucks head to the Time Warner Center with over three tons of lighting equipment. We're at the Time Warner Center. We are installing the largest color-changing LED program in the world. A crew of 33 installers, riggers, programmers, and fiber optic technicians has one night to put all 12 stars into place. And they must do all this before the stores reopen. This is the ultimate rigging experience and requires really the most skilled people in the world to, to make this happen and to make it happen safely. If that doesn't seem hard enough, they have an added obstacle this year. There's a $35 million valued Salvador Dali exhibit happening in the center right now. And we are working around and very close to all of these pieces. Um, quite concerned. No, I just want like, I want a wall right here. Yeah, okay. That sculpture there is probably worth a couple million dollars. It's, you know, four and a half feet from where we are standing and where the ladders are gonna be and et cetera. So just keep an eye out for each other to make sure we don't go anywhere near that thing. Okay. Matthew made it very clear that one of my priorities is to have 12 stars flying in, in the atrium of Time Warner Center. Second priority, don't destroy $35 million worth of artwork. To make it more of a challenge, only two people on this crew have ever built these stars before. Like everyone should just kind of get their hands in on this one and talk to each other as you're building it because as soon as this one goes up, we're going to end up simultaneously building three at a time. Raise that. So the stars are really extraordinary. Um, we basically built something that looks like a soccer ball inside. And in that soccer ball structure, we've got an LED unit on each side. Every one of those fixtures has 11 million color changing possibilities. While the team assembles the first star on the ground, the riggers are high in the atrium preparing the hang points in preparation for the first lift. We set the star up directly underneath the chain. They get put together in 14 pieces, bolted together. All the lighting and electric gets plugged in on the ground, tested on the ground. Two hours later, the first star has been built and tested. It's now ready to be raised 85 feet and fixed to the ceiling. With 11 more stars to build, it'll be a race against time getting them all into position and the crew cleared out before shoppers arrive first thing in the morning. We got a lot of work to do. Coming up, we flip the switch on the world's largest holiday light show at the Time Warner Center. Lord and Taylor throws a gala event to celebrate their new holiday decorations. The window display at Hugo Boss is brought to life. And the holiday season is officially underway as we deck the halls at Macy's. Yeah!